Have you ever pondered about the mysteries that lie millions of miles away, especially about Pluto, our solar system's dwarf planet? There's an enigma that surrounds Pluto, a tiny celestial body that has captivated our imaginations and driven our curiosity for years. This icy world roaming the outermost regions of our solar system has always been a fascinating subject of study with its unique characteristics and unexpected features. In this cosmic journey, we're going to delve into the most intriguing facts about Pluto, providing a chronological account of its discovery, naming, downgrade, and exploration. Along the way, we'll uncover the events and people that have shaped our understanding of this distant dwarf planet. From its icy heart to its thin atmosphere, from its moons to its place in our solar system, every aspect of Pluto holds a story waiting to be told. Fasten your seatbelts as we embark on this cosmic journey, tracing the history and fascinating details about Pluto. Our journey begins in the year 1930 with a young astronomer named Clyde Tombaugh. Tombaugh, a self-taught astronomer, found his way to the Lowell Observatory in Arizona, USA, a place that would become the birthplace of a major discovery. Armed with a telescope that was not the most powerful of its time but sufficient for his purpose, Tombaugh embarked on an astronomical quest like no other. His technique? Comparing photographic plates, each night he would photograph the same section of sky and then carefully examine the two images for any shifts or changes. It was a painstaking process, a meticulous hunt for something unseen. And then, after nearly a year of relentless searching, Tombaugh noticed a tiny speck of light that had moved. That speck was none other than Pluto, the ninth planet in our solar system at that time. Thus, Pluto emerged from the darkness, a new member in our solar system's family. After the discovery came the task of naming this new celestial body. The honor of christening this new planet fell into the hands of an unlikely candidate, an 11-year-old British girl named Venetia Burney. The year was 1930, and Venetia, upon hearing of the new planet's discovery over breakfast, proposed the name Pluto, she was inspired by the Roman god of the underworld, a fitting name for a planet dwelling in the outermost shadows of our solar system. Venetia's grandpa, impressed by her suggestion, forwarded the idea to his friend, who happened to be an astronomer at the University of Oxford. The name struck a chord, resonating with the international astronomy community. It was not only appropriate in mythological context, but also honored Percival Lowell, the astronomer who had initiated the search for a ninth planet as the first two letters of Pluto are his initials. So from the shadows, Pluto got its name and an identity was born. In 2006, a controversy shook the world of astronomy and Pluto found itself at the center. The International Astronomical Union, also known as the IAU, made a decision that would forever change our understanding of our solar system. They reclassified the ninth planet from the sun, our beloved Pluto, as a dwarf planet. This was no small matter as it shook the very foundations of what we knew about planets and our solar system. So why did this happen? Well, it all comes down to the definition of a planet by the IAU. According to them, to be considered a planet, a celestial body must meet three criteria. First, it must orbit the sun. Second, it must be round or nearly round. And third, it must have cleared its orbit of other debris. Pluto meets the first two criteria with flying colors it orbits the sun and it's round. But the third criterion is where Pluto falls short. You see, Pluto resides in the Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system beyond the orbit of Neptune, filled with millions of small bodies made of ice. These icy objects are remnants from the early solar system and Pluto, well, it hasn't exactly cleared them out of its path. This led to the decision of the IAU in 2006 to reclassify Pluto as a dwarf planet. It was a decision that sparked debates, discussions, and even a fair bit of outrage. After all, Pluto had been considered a planet for more than 70 years, and just like that, it was demoted. But here's the thing. Pluto's downgrade doesn't make it any less fascinating. On the contrary, it only adds to its charm and mystery. It's a reminder that our understanding of the universe is constantly evolving and changing. And who knows, maybe one day, Pluto will regain its planetary status. But until then, we'll continue to explore, to learn, and to marvel at the wonders of our universe. 
Pluto might have been demoted, but its charm and mystery only increased. In 2015, humanity got its first close-up look at this distant world. That year, the New Horizons mission by NASA traveled a staggering 3 billion miles to give us our first detailed glimpse of Pluto and its moons. New Horizons was a triumph of human innovation and curiosity. It took nine years for the spacecraft to reach Pluto, but the wait was worth it. This mission was the first of its kind, providing us with the most detailed images of Pluto ever captured. One of the most significant discoveries made during this mission was the heart-shaped glacier on Pluto, named Tombaugh Reggio after the planet's discoverer. This glacier is made of nitrogen ice and is the most significant feature on the planet's surface. It's a symbol of Pluto's charm, a frosty heart in the icy reaches of space. But the surprises didn't end there. New Horizons also revealed that Pluto has a blue atmosphere, a discovery that left scientists astounded. This blue hue results from the way sunlight scatters off haze particles in the atmosphere. It's a reminder that even in the most distant corners of our solar system, beauty can be found in unexpected places. Then there is Charon, Pluto's largest moon. New Horizons showed us that Charon is more than just a satellite. It's a world in its own right, almost half the size of Pluto itself. The moon spins in a mesmerizing dance with Pluto the two bodies locked in gravitational harmony. The New Horizons mission proved that Pluto, once thought to be a lonely, frozen rock at the edge of our solar system, is a dynamic and complex world. It's a place of icy mountains, vast plains, and a fascinatingly diverse landscape. Unknown and distant, Pluto continues to captivate us, a tiny world with big surprises. Its exploration has deepened our understanding of the solar system and reminded us that there is always more to discover in the vast expanse of space. From its discovery to its exploration, Pluto has always held a certain allure. This celestial enigma, first spotted in 1930, was named by an 11-year-old girl and later reclassified from planet to dwarf planet, stirring worldwide debate. The exploration by New Horizons in 2015 gave us a closer look at this distant world. And with that, we conclude our cosmic journey. Remember, the universe is full of mysteries, and Pluto is just one of them. Until next time, keep looking up.